Hi, I'm Zoe, and I'm going to tell you how to break the internet. So when your computer wants to see a web page, it sends a message through a network of routers to a server, and the server sends a web page back through the same network. Each router is a small computer which has enough information about the network that it can direct your message along the shortest path possible. Routers know what the network looks like because they advertise to each other about their connections. So for example, router A could advertise that it has a path of length 2 to server Y. It sends this advertisement to router B. And because router B already knows that it has a path length of 1 to router A, now router B knows that it has a path length of 3 to server Y. The catch is, there's nothing stopping these routers from lying to each other. So A could advertise that it has a connection of length negative 10 to server Y. And now B thinks that it has a connection of length negative 9 to server Y. And this false message propagates throughout the network. So all the traffic that should be going to server Y is now passing through router A. So if router A is malicious, it could choose to take all this traffic and just drop it. So the cool thing is, this actually happened in real life. A few years ago, the Pakistani government decided it didn't want its citizens to access YouTube. So, just like router A, it sent out a false advertisement claiming to have a really short path to YouTube servers. So, whenever a Pakistani citizen tried to access YouTube, their request got sent to the government instead, where it was dropped. And on accident, this advertisement actually spread beyond Pakistan. And so for several hours, large parts of the world were unable to access YouTube. So this is one way that you could actually break the internet.